In this video, you're going to join me as I log into the video editing software called Chopcast. Chopcast has got a fantastic reputation for being able to edit long form content and quickly turn it into multiple short form clips, which is basically you can take your old YouTube videos, paste in the URL, and then it should automatically chop that video into sections so you can repurpose for short form content. I've never used Chopcast, so you're going to join me live whilst I give a super realistic and practical review of what it will be like for you as the customer logging in and trying it for the first time. If this software is something for you, I do have a updated discount link that I'll leave in the comment section for you. We'll go ahead and log in and we are now in the main dashboard. So at first glance, super simple, nothing fancy going on here. We have our main options as well as our profile. If we go into our profile section, this is where we can manage our subscription. Going back into the main folder, there's really only one thing we can click on and that's upload video. So it looks like we have this little pop-up where we can paste in our YouTube link or upload a file directly. As I'm a content creator, I'll go ahead and grab one of my YouTube videos. And just before I click the upload button, I can see we've got an auto generate clips. So I assume this is going to auto generate it for us. So we're going to try both. And then in the advanced settings, it looks like we can write in a brief description. So it will only find us specific bits. And we'll come back to that in a second. Let's just see how effective this is. So now I assume it's downloading the video and editing it. So if we go ahead and click on it, it's doing just that. So right now it's uploading the video from YouTube, it's extracting the audio, transcribing the text, generating the clips, and then finalizing it. Whilst it's doing that, we're gonna go back, we're going to do new, and we're going to do upload video. And once again, we're gonna paste in the video. And I've simply put, find me parts where I use emotive language, the video platform's YouTube, the average view duration. I'm going to make it, let's say, 20 seconds and this is browser privacy ai and then do done and now it's doing the second video for us let's go ahead and have a look at where we're up to so we're still at 10 percent so i'll go ahead and pause the video and come back once we have made progress it's not yet finished processing but i'm just going to call we can actually rename this by clicking the pencil icon and saying video one and then we're going to do video two plus advanced options. So now we know what's going on with each of these videos. It's been approximately six or seven minutes since I did both. I've not yet opened them. So let's go ahead and check them out. So we're going to start with video one. And now we have a completely new interface. We have the main shot of the video. So this is the main video here. And it's also highlighted what I assume to be the sections it has edited. So if I click on this one, it's jumped us straight to the screenshot. If we jump on this one, it's jumped us straight to another video and another one and another one and another one. It's actually quite cool, but I want to hear what it's actually taken. So we're going to go ahead and do play on this first one without ever storing your data. You might be asking, why would I use Ask AI when, when Google is also free and incorporating AI? According and let's do the next one. First, we have our typical search bar here. You can do in Google, just with Google. But what's really interesting about these snippets is that they're all action-based snippets, which means that the AI they've used behind the scenes is actually understanding the transcription of the videos and it's taking the most engaging parts of where the text is relevant. So that's actually a really nice touch. And on the right, you can see a little score, which is the virality score. So that's saying how likely this video or this segment of the video is going to go viral. The edit on just one of them. And now it comes up with a little editor. And on the left, we have subtitles, add text, add images and clean the audio. And then we can dictate what I assume is going to be text on the screen. So yeah, you can see the text on the screen, which is really nice. We can directly highlight the word and then trim that word out of the video. So that's nice as well. We can change the size of the font and the font family. 
And then we can even change the background and stuff like that of all the text. If we want to add text, we would click on add text and then pop that there. And then we can do all the amendments here and even move it around on this screen, which is nice. If we want to add our own images, we can do. And here's our images that we can quickly overlay. Again, this is super simple to use. And if we want to delete it, it's actually not that clear on how to delete images once they're in there. But after a little bit of exploring, you can see there's a X icon overlaying the image that we can simply just click delete and that's gone. And then we can enhance the audio with AI. So do enhance. And then that will be cleaned for us. And one last thing we can do is resize the format to let's say short form content and we can either do fit or crop. So I'm going to do fit and then do apply. And this is what it looks like when you fit it. You can also change the background color if you want, or if you want to resize it, flip it to crop. And now that will change it to the relevant size that you're after. So like this, and then you can export it. If we go back to the clips, you can then decide which file you want to quickly export or even save the videos that are most engaging for you. So that was video one. Let's go to video two and let's see what they've taken. Ever storing your data. You might be asking, why would I use Ask AI where as reverse index lookup? This type of technology is similar have our typical search bar here and then we can navigate between different sort of filters browse to the bottom and you'll be able to find all of the information so this one is in fact using emotive language a little bit more but the overall difference between the two videos are not that drastic which kind of tells me that the software is actually doing a really good job of choosing which footage is best. So what do I think of Chopcast? If you are a non-editor, it gives you all of the basic functionality that you would want in an editing software. However, it's not really for creating full-blown videos. It's for repurposing existing content. So in other words, if you want, if you created a 10 minute video, you can put the link in or upload the file to Chopcast and Chopcast will auto segment the best and most engaging bits of that video. From what I've seen from these two videos, it actually does a pretty good job. You've got the subtitle features, which is a really good addition and helps videos pop off and go viral. You can do basic things like overlay images, clean up audio, but this could be a huge time saver for anyone who has a ton of content on YouTube, or other platforms that just wants to repurpose it rather than recreate everything. Would I recommend Chopcast? Yes, I would.